and it's Lindsay. I am back with our next lesson for our heart quilt. This lesson we are going to learn how to import fabrics um, into our swatch library. This is a really easy step and it's going to help you color your quilts exactly how you want them. So right now I'm in design fabric tools and I'm going to right click on one of the fabrics and hit clear all unused fabrics. Just because the library is automatically populated with some fabrics and we don't need to use those ones. So right click, hit clear, and then hit yes, and it's going to say no fabrics to display. That's what we want to have a clean palette. Um, so now we're going to go to a website to get our swatches from a fabric manufacturer's website. And I have picked Riley Blake Designs because... It's super easy to access their files, and a lot of websites are pretty easy. Um, the other fabric manufacturer I love to use, and they make it really easy to access their swatches, is Moda. So for today, we're going to go to Riley Blake Designs. So in your web browser, just click RileyBlakeDesigns.com, and you can see this is their main page. We want to hit storyboards. This is where all their fabric collections are. And they're in alphabetical order. So the fabric collection I've decided to use is called Hello Sweetheart. And here it is right here. I can click on the actual image itself and it will download the storyboard. However, we just want images. So I'm going to hit download images. And that will start downloading the images into my download folder. So now I'm going back to EQ8 and I need to access those images and to do that we need to import them into our library. So click on libraries at the top, hit fabric library and it'll bring up this box. So <clears throat> we got rid of all of these fabrics in our palette so they're not going to show back up there. We're going to go to this box that says import. We're going to hit from image files and I want to go back here is the hello sweetheart folder and it, inside the folder are two other folders one has with ruler we do not want to download download these images because it'll put rulers in our swatches and we don't want that so you're going to hit this folder and this has all the swatches in that fabric collection. So I'm going to make a fabric or a selection box over all the fabrics and I'm just going to download all of them or import all of them into my project um, because I don't know which ones I want to use and which ones I don't want to use. So you're going to hit open. Down here it will have a loading. It'll say it's loading. So it, it has loaded all those fabrics you're going to hit select all fabrics. This I think is a new feature in EQ8. I don't remember this feature in EQ7. So before I just had to click on each one and hit add to sketchbook. This one you can hit this, it'll select all of them and then hit add to sketchbook. Now we can close this box and you can see it has imported those fabrics into our fabric swatch library. And now this is where the fun part starts. You can really change the look of your quilt because fabric makes all the difference and you can change it however you want in so many ways. You can do really scrappy, you can just use a couple of fabrics. Really it's up to you and your preference. So for this lesson I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I like to do when I'm coloring in my quilts. So I have my spray can selected. You want to, um, these are the two tools I use the most, spray can and swap color. Swap color, it would swap every pink heart with the fabric I have selected, which is this pink heart. So I'm just going to click that to show. So you can see it swapped all of them with this pink heart. I really 
I kind of think I want to go scrappy on this, so I'm going to undo that Command-Z. And also, I want to show how you can rotate your fabric. So these are directional prints. I'm going to spray can this, and it is going the right direction, but if it was not going the right direction, you can hit your rotate fabric, and it'll start rotating. So now the hearts are upside down. You can rotate it as many times as you want until you get it to the right way is facing. So a really great tool to use. So I'm going to go back into my spray can. And um, I'm going to go for a scrappy look and just start coloring. The great thing about the spray can is it'll spray everything within that specific block that is painted in that color. If you have several different pieces that are painted pink in a block, but you only want to color a certain one, you will want to use the paintbrush tool. And then that's where you can color each section. So like if I wanted to do my hearts, one side pink and the other side red, I would want to use my paintbrush tool. That is actually super cute and you can definitely do your whole quilt like that. Um, I think I'm going to do all of my hearts one fabric. So I'm going to grab my spray can and I'm just going to start coloring and um, just do random hearts in different fabrics. So this one you can see it didn't do the whole thing because it wasn't all the same fabric. So I'm just going to hit both sides on that. And like I said, you can really go crazy and do this however you want. Um, this is my favorite part because you can really change the look of a quilt with your fabrics. So there are some really fun darker prints in here that have black accents. So let's see what some of those look like in here. See, that's super cute, I think. Let's add a couple of those, and then there's also this ombre heart print that's really fun. Let's add a couple of those, and I think we need to add some more red. Let's see. There's the red typewriter. We have two of those. Um, let's do another one of these. See, right here we have this print. It's the same print in different colors, and we have quite a bit. So I'm actually going to change one of those to this one, and then maybe change this pink one to, let's do a black typewriter. Let's see how that looks. That's really cute. And we'll grab another red. So it looks like we're about done. And this really is the fun part. These fabrics right here are panels, and you could definitely use the panel prints, but for this, and you can see there, um, you could change the direction of the fabric on there, but I'm not going to use the panel prints on this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, see, that's another ombre heart. Super cute. Let's do a black. We have a gold accent. Okay, so it's not perfect. You could definitely mess with it. I'm not digging the gold because it's the only one with gold on it right here. So I'm going to change that to that one for now. Just to make it look more cohesive. So <clears throat> we've colored our hearts and now you can go and color your border. Um, I'm thinking it would be cute to use one of these large floral prints. So let's see what that looks like. And I wanna mention, I have my lines off, so I'm gonna put those back in so you can see. It might be easier for you to use those when you're coloring. Um, when I'm coloring, I when I'm done and I feel like I have a good uh, assortment of fabrics, 
then I take my lines off and see. And I can see I have a lot of these florals on the outside edges. So either we need to change these or change the border. Let's see what this typewriter print looks like. It's the cream one. Really cute. I don't know if I love that as the border print. I'm going to grab my swap color. It'll make it faster. That's pretty cute, but I don't love that either. So I'm going to Command Z that, undo it. See what the black floral. See, that's pretty cute. I like that. We do have a lot of florals on the outside edges, so I would go in and kind of fix um, fabric placement. And this is where you can spend a lot of time. And if, let's say, you have more fabrics you want to add from a different collection, you could add those in and really change up um, how it looks. So that's how easy it is to use the fabric library and to import your own fabrics. I will include a link to Riley Blake's website so you can easily access that page so you can download your own swatches. Um, next time I will share how to print and export your quilt and your rotary cutting and all that fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.